Hey Drew, thanks for showing up. I wanted to ask you, you have anything you want to say to our volunteers? That I love them, that they're fantastic. I love our volunteers. I've been around since 2013. We've always had great volunteers. It's our turn, the staff here at Kern County Animal Services, to thank our volunteers because they really are major rock stars. As the person who oversees the volunteers, but also started as a volunteer, I know what it means to spend a lot of your very valuable time not getting paid to take care of animals that everyone else has abandoned. I want to say that we have the most awesome volunteers on the face of the planet. Everybody that comes through here is so kind and compassionate and dedicated to these animals of Kern County. So thank you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you volunteers for dedicating countless hours helping us help the animals and also thank you to Caitlin. Caitlin, she's always helping us do all the admin stuff, so we do appreciate her help. And to everyone that helps us at our clinic, especially Audrey and Katie, they always are showing up on our Tuesday clinic, so thank you ladies for always showing up. Katie is very informative with everybody and Audrey is just all around bubbly and amazing to be around. She's going to medical school, so congrats, Audrey. Thank you so much to all the volunteers um you guys be doing the damn thing <laughs> i appreciate you guys so much because i wouldn't come for eight hours plus for free thank you guys shout out to carrie um megan right here can you point the camera at megan please because she's hiding um no to <laughs> all the volunteers thank you guys so much to the wonderful megan allen for always working the streets of bakersfield program like she is a beast at that a special thank you to megan allen i love you so much and you're the best person ever megan streets of bakersfield rocking it killing it love it well to start off megan today we had a large transport go out and she helped pull our bite dogs like i handed her a few they're super sweet but she she's in it for the long haul mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We're very thankful just in general for all the volunteers, mm -hmm. Megan, mm -hmm. um, Kim, we have Lori, Kelsey, Kelsey Denise. Denise, 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 we love you Denise love and Kelsey Denise. so much, yes. and Megan, and, Megan. And, Lori. and Lori, Lori, and, and Rachel, and we just want to say thank you so much and yes, we really appreciate you so for much. getting all the dogs, our favorite dogs out. Big shout out to Nicole, she is always here to help us out with our play group. She runs dogs back and forth and that's just a really huge help to the behavior team. So thank you, Nicole. We love you. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Megan, Denise, Kelsey, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Kelsey, Carrie, Megan, Denise, and Laura. Uh, my last day of work last year after my term ended, they banded together, they wrote me a nice note, and then they all pitched in on a gift card, which was like a lot, and it's the most appreciated I have ever felt. So that was really, really nice for them to do for me. Kelsey, thank you for always bringing me coffee, because that always brightens up the rest of my day. It's like you're my rock star. It means so much to have all of you here and you guys all do such great work. But I would like to say something special to Jerry because um, he is my favorite and mostly because I talk to him the most. Um, you do such a great job and I know all the little dogs love you and you're always just quick to help out whenever I want somebody to get a little extra attention. Um, you're more than happy to volunteer to help out, so thank you. Very thankful for all of my volunteers that I've met. But my favorite one is my Grandma Sherry. She's been here for years, she's gotten a couple awards, she loves her kitty cats, and she and my aunt run a, a rescue, and they've done a lot for the shelter too, so I'm really proud of them. Volunteers that are always on puppies, thank you so much, because that's a mission in itself, especially with puppies. Two of them, there's two Marias. She does more of the geriatric dog, so unfortunately, like, some of these dogs have passed on her, and, you know, my heart breaks for her, but she every time she comes, she's always giving, like, the sweetest goodbyes to them, and um, she's always treating them with, like, so much love and, and like, respect, and I just appreciate her so much, and not just her, um, there, there's another volunteer, her name's Maria. We call her Tere, and she is so awesome. She's brought me lunch before. She's like always like calling me like, how am I doing? And she worries about how we're doing here. And um, she's just a very caring person, and I like, appreciate her so much. Everybody knows Carrie. She and I would always clean the AP and IP puppy kennels. 
I would just like to thank you personally for all of your time and energy that you share with the animals under our care here at Kern County Animal Services. And I know personally that it does make our job easier and it makes us be able to save more animals because we are able to be more efficient and do all the things. So we appreciate you and we hope that you're able to get the hours that you need and that you get some value from your experience as well. Thank you. Hi, this is Melissa from Med Staff. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of our volunteers, for all the hard work that you do for us. I really think we wouldn't function as smoothly as we do without you guys. And thank you for all the attention you give these babes. Um, I also want to say a special thank you to all the volunteers that go out and help me at the clinics because you guys know we're really busy. I appreciate you guys so much and thank you, thank you so much. Uh, thank you to all the volunteers. We love you, we appreciate everything you guys do for us. Kisses, bye. All of our medical students who help us get animals spayed and neutered every day, we couldn't adopt these animals out um, without them being spayed and neutered. So all of our medical volunteers and students, I wanna say a big thank you to you guys as well. And I really wanna thank the volunteers who just kind of jump into the fray with me. Uh, I wanna say a special thank you to Donna, um, who just signed up to answer phones and ended up having to run the front desk with me last week. <laughs> um, I wanna say a huge thank you to our volunteer groomer, Joan, um, who comes and gets our dogs looking presentable. It makes a big difference in you know how they get adopted and that kind of thing. Mark and Dave, um, who come and do puppies almost every day. Um, they give really amazing care to our you know most vulnerable little puppies. Um, Tammy and Sherry, who have been doing cats with me, and Bucky, Tammy, Sherry, and Bucky, who have been doing cats with me for years, um, who are some of the only volunteers that stuck with us through COVID. At the beginning of COVID, uh, when we did the pet food program, I worked with Sherry and Tammy and Joanne and Kathy. We all worked that program every Sunday and Wednesday till the day I got hired on. I was coming in here for free and just dedicating their time to help them getting these dogs out. Our savior wouldn't be what it is without them. They're miracle workers. I want to say I appreciate them so much. Thank you so much for all the hard work. Everything that you do, it means a lot to me personally. Seeing the dogs be able to go out for walks, get treats, just be getting that extra love, it means a lot to me to be able to see that. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do all the things we do. They advocate for our dogs, they help us get a lot of dogs out. Just that they're amazing and we appreciate their help. They're always searching for foster homes for our dogs, which helps, again, save the lives of the animals here. They come and help us run playgroup, help with enrichment. I wanted to say thank you to the volunteers for taking the dogs out as much as they do. We have our hands full with cleaning and feeding pretty much for most of the day, and we don't get the chance to take the dogs out the way that they do. It just gives them a chance to be able to stretch their legs and really let their personality shine. So just the little things like that really helps them a lot. Um, I'm very thankful for our volunteers for always highlighting our dogs and trying getting our dogs out um, and taking pictures and videos for me. It's very helpful and appreciated very much. Thanks to all the volunteers for walking dogs, washing dishes and getting all the dogs out. We can't do it without you guys. Thank you for taking the dogs out, posting on social media. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you volunteers for taking time out of your day to come and help us and the animals at the shelter. It's greatly appreciated. I see you and I thank you um, and you guys getting up every day just to come here and to help out when you're not even getting paid or you're not obligated to do so says a lot about you and you just have a big heart. So thank you so much volunteers. We love you guys. To all of you who volunteer, um, thank you for being here, for keeping us sane, for caring for these pets. Um, everyone else has thrown them away and you show them and us that there are still people out there who care about them. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you a quick story. Uh about 12 years ago when we were still operating the shelter on Mount Vernon and we were obligated to take in both city and county dogs. Uh, back then we took in about 32,000 dogs and cats a year. Um, and the facility at, at any given time would house uh, 900 animals and it was built to house about 225. So we were constantly four and five times above capacity and we would have four and five large breed dogs per kennel. And I remember uh, at one day the power went off at the facility and um, all the lights went out and we had to escort the public out um, for their own safety. And uh, when they all came back in, um, it had been about an hour or two and the kennels hadn't been cleaned. And so there was a, a, a group of folks who were just yelling and screaming at us because the kennels were just filthy 
and um, you know the media came out and stuck a microphone in my face and I just remember thinking you know I just I wish we had help you know I wish we had help from the community we felt like we were all alone and uh, you know I could never could have imagined 12 years ago that you know 12 years later we would have almost 100 active volunteers that are arm in arm with us um, that are supplementing everything that we do um, that are performing tasks anywhere from daily cleaning like we struggled with so many years ago to marketing and advocating for these animals and finding homes for them and transporting them and you know helping on our medical team answering the phones greeting the public like it's amazing to me what the volunteers are capable of but uh, it's more amazing to me their commitment to what we do um, you know and to every volunteer that we have you know I sincerely appreciate the time and the effort that you put in to help us and help these animals Thank you all.